This year marks the Daytona's 60th anniversary and Rolex has finally released new Daytonas. They look a lot like last generation's models, yet they aren't. This is because it's a Rolex, and they're known for implementing slight improvements over each generation. New graphic balance is applied to the dial, and pleasing color schemes highlight the contrast between the dial and the subdials. The light reflections on the lugs and case sides draw attention to the revised Oyster case's profile. The bezel is now surrounded by a thin ring made of the same metal as the watch case. The biggest news is that we now have a new caliber 4131 within the Daytona. Rolex had been using the same caliber 4130 movement since 2000 when they first developed their own in-house movement to replace the Zenith made movement. The caliber 4131 accomplishes what it does with fewer components than the previous caliber 4130, but with superior movement decoration, performance, and dependability. With the new perpetual rotor, the power reserve has gone up to 72 hours from the 54 hours of the previous generation. But the most exciting news for most Rolex fans is that the Platinum Daytona and the special edition commemorating the 100th running of the 24 hours of Le Mans now comes with an exhibition case back. With the see-through case back, you can now see the intricate and complex movement of the Daytona. Similar to the last generation's Daytona, the new models come in a 40 mm diameter and are available in the usual plethora of metals, including Everos, yellow or white gold, and platinum. However, the most popular model would be the new stainless steel virgin reference 126500L in. The stainless steel models still come in a white or black dial, and taking a closer look, you'll notice how refined the dial has become. The subdial bezels are slimmer, which magnifies the appearance of the subdials themselves. The hour markers are also smaller, giving the face a more vintage Zenith Daytona appearance. All of these minor changes make the dial appear more balanced and clean. Not long since the release of the new Daytonas in March, Rolex has released a brand new special edition Daytona to commemorate the 100th year of the 24 Hours of Le Mans, an annual endurance event for automobiles. This new white gold model honors the legendary race with a reverse panda dial, a special black ceramic tachymeter scale that features the 100 indication in red and a movement tuned for the illustrious endurance race that lasts for 24 hours. It is based on the updated models introduced at Watches and Wonders earlier this year. With distinctive square-shaped markers and tracks, these sub-counters reflect the coveted vintage Paul Newman Daytona or the exotic dial style. White gold is also used for the hands and applied markers, which are then filled with Rolex's chroma light luminescence. This new Daytona model, reference 126529LM, is the same 40 mm width and diameter with an oyster bracelet, much like the current generation. The updated Daytonas introduced in March came with a brand new 4131 movement. However, this model has a fresh iteration of that movement known as the Caliber 4132, because the 4131's maximum chronograph measurement is only at 12 hours, insufficient for a 24-hour endurance race. Rolex created the Caliber 4132 to increase its chronograph measure up to 24 hours. Rolex then finishes the Le Mans Edition Daytona by encasing it in a white gold casing along with a transparent back and an oyster bracelet. Comment below and let us know which is your favorite model. Rolex Daytonas are a true masterpiece that combines the world of motorsport with the excellence of watchmaking. Its timeless design, remarkable features, and limited availability make it a prized possession for any avid collector. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video from us. See you soon.